Let's learn how to use default user groups. As I'm beginning my Impulse implementation, I realize that I need to create employee records for any person who needs to log into Impulse for any reason, and also for those that need to be assigned to work orders. For people who need to log into Impulse, I need to create a user account. I do that on the employee records, and employee records can be found under my human resource menu, employee records. So in the employee records, I have this account section where I would establish a username, a password, and what we're going to be focusing on today are the user groups. So the default user groups were intended to support these scenarios. The first group I want to highlight is the system manager group. The system manager group has full access rights and full functionality rights to the entire program. However, this group cannot be modified. I cannot turn records off for this group. I cannot turn sections of records off for this group or fields off for this group. I cannot remove this group from my database. It will always be there and it will always be the same. Because of that, this is not typically connected to your day-to-day -day power users of the program. For those types of users, we have created a user group called the Impulse Manager Group. Again, this group has full access rights and full, and full functionality rights, like the system manager. However, this group can be modified. So I can turn off records that I'm not needing. I can turn off sections of records that I'm not needing, and also turn the fields off that are not relevant to my day-to-day -day usage of the program. The next group would, I want to highlight here is a maintenance engineer group. This is typically connected to your technician types. The individuals that need to log into Impulse find their work orders, complete their work orders, and possibly create a work order for something they've done on the fly that they weren't yet assigned to. Next is the maintenance requester group. This group has very limited access. They essentially can log into the system, land on the request page, fill it out, and submit it. They can check the status of the request, but that's typically the extent of their involvement with Impulse. And finally, we have the data reader group. The data reader group would typically be connected to your upper level management that doesn't necessarily need to know how to use Impulse. But when they do log into the program, they want to read the information that's relevant to their decision making. They commonly would have a dashboard set up with information that is relevant to their decision making. So once we establish the, the appropriate user group for this user account, now this user can log in and Impulse will know what they can see and what they can do throughout the program. For questions about this topic or any other topic, feel free to email us at support at or call us at 800-944-1796.